is also a redox reaction. Yes. Electrolysis is um, a continuation or a subtopic under redox. You know, the last time in the redox class, we did define redox as a chemical reaction which involves oxidation and what? Reduction. In electrolysis, where does reduction take place? Is it the cathode or the anode? Reduction take place at the what? Cathode. And then oxidation occurs at the what? Anode. So you now see that in electrolysis, oxidation and reduction occur together in that cell. So electrolysis is a redox reaction. So I can still go on and on and start giving other examples of, electro, uh, of redox reaction. But today we're going to be looking at electrolysis as a topic that stands on its own. What is electrolysis? What is electrolysis? There's nobody here that can define it the way I want. My own way, you not define it that way. Yes. No, nobody is going to hear your voice. I know what you want to say. Electrolysis is the chemical decomposition, Abby. That's what you tell me. Okay, you tell me the other one. Okay, take it out this way. Electrolysis. Electrolysis is defined. Electrolysis is defined as a chemical process. As a chemical process which splits which splits, splits, like splitting, which splits, which splits ionic compound, which splits ionic compound, which splits ionic compound into their ions, into their ions, into their ions, which is brought about by passage. Which is brought about by passage. Which is brought about by passage of passage of direct. Passage of direct. Direct electric current. Direct electric word current full air eh? stop what i want to mention that it's compound ionic it is only compound that has one form of ion like a compound that can dissociate into a positive and then what? Negative. And it's only an ionic compound that has ions. That is, when they dissociate, they split to give what? Cations and what? Anions. There are compounds that cannot dissociate into ions, like glucose, urea, ethanol. These compounds are not ionic. And they are non electrolytes, which means that in their solutions, they can't allow electricity to pass through what? them. Electrolysis, that word split means decomposition. It means what? Decomposition. That means when a compound decomposes, a chemical process that brings about decomposition of compound into their ions. 
is what electrolysis i wouldn't want to mention whether in solution or emoting that is a different idea of electrolysis that has to do with electrolytes because electrolysis is a process whereby electrolytes had to what conduct electricity and what are electrolytes they are compound compounds compounds which in their solutions they start to conduct what electricity but let's see this under terms used in electrolysis electrolytic terms subheading electrolytic terms electrolytic terms electrolytic terms number one electrolytes 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 what is electrolytes right these are ionic compound these are ionic compound these are ionic compound which in their solution which in their solution or aqueous states which in their solution or aqueous states allow the passage of electric currents allows the passage of electric currents allow the passage of electric currents to pass through them to pass through them to pass through them to pass through them as they decomposed in the process to pass through them as decomposed in the process to pass through them as they decomposed in the word process as they decompose in the word process the way you come to electrolytes it does look like we have them um, strong and what weak strong the difference between strong and weak is that a strong electrolyte has strength of dissociation that means the compound dissociates 100 percent in solution and weak electrolyte dissociates partially or let me say they dissociate what 50 percent in solution so the electrolyte that dissociate 100 percent in solution will tend to have high electrical conductivity more than that that dissociates partly in solution so the difference between a strong and a weak electrolyte is that a strong electrolyte will dissociate to a greater extent and then the conductivity and mobility is higher compared to weak word electrolytes then you don't see compound that well dissociates that much in solutions are strong electrolytes are ionic compounds when we talk about ionic compounds we talk about acids strong acids strong base and what ionic salts so these are electrolytes that in their solution they dissociate and then tend to have what high mobility and what conductivity compared to those that that are struggling to what dissociate for instance if you have something like weak acid weak base these are electrolytes but the rate at which they dissociate into ions are what are partly they dissociate as if they are not dissociating to all their potential so the electrical conductivity in such electrolytes is what is weak so those kind of electrolytes tend to have what low conductivity as well as what mobility it is very important to also know that there are also electrolytes that we require as non-electrolytes those ones that in their solutions or liquid or aqueous they don't dissociate into ions at all and they do not allow current to flow through what them. Are you with me? Are you with me? So that is a simple thing. So you must know these three categories of electrolytes. The strong electrolytes, the weak electrolytes, and then the what? The non-electrolytes. Three categories. The first, we'll write it down. Three categories. 
Uh, the following, put it this way, start with paragraph. The following are categories of electrolytes. The following are categories of electrolytes. The following are categories of electrolytes. Categories of electrolyte number one. Number one. Strong. Number one. Strong electrolytes. Strong electrolytes. Strong electrolytes. Before we go to the next one, just write what it is. Compound that dissociate completely in solution. 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 Compound that dissociate completely in solution and have high electrical conductivity. And have high electrical conductivity. And have high electrical conductivity. Conductivity. Example. Example. Example, strong acids, strong acids, strong acids, such as, what is this? H2O, SO4, comma, HNO3, comma, HCl, ETC. Next number, I'm not using number one, I'm using this hyphen, please. Because the main number one is the electrolytes. Next one is what? Next one is what? Weak electrolytes. Weak electrolytes. These are compounds that dissociate partly in their solution. These are electrolytes that dissociate partly in their solution. Partly can mean partially. Partly in their solution. And then shows very low electrical conductivity. And then show very low electrical conductivity. Very low electrical conductivity and mobility. And they show, and then show, and then show very low, yes. I should come again. These are compound. I think I said it. You know, if I'm repeating them, they're not repeating exactly the way it is. That's the problem I have. These are compounds that dissociate partly okay, in their solution. And they show very low electrical conductivity and mobility. How does that mobile? They are weakly mobile. No, they are almost immobile. Example. Weak acids. Like, example, weak acid. Like, what do you call this acid? Well, the way in brackets, for the Nayamara formula, in bracket, ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. Comma. Water. Is a weak electrolyte. Water, H2O. Water. 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 Is it here? Ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide. On the board. ETC. I also forget to add strong bases on that strong electrolytes. I only give you this. But please, find a way to also know that strong bases like NaOH, KOH are also strong electrolytes. Please, find a way to add it down. It's very important to... And even ionic salt, Nine. ionic salt, for example, NaCl or CuSO4. Please, find a way to add it on that strong. Chebi gap, Afinia. All the very important. So it's also so acid, but strong electrolyte, strong base is so ionic salt is so what? Yes.
ACL, hydrogen fluoride. I don't understand. Uncle is HF, a strong acid. HF is a strong acid. HF is a strong acid. Now let me show you something here. HF is not that strong. It's not that strong. Do you know what is called hydrohalic acids? Hydride of halogens. You know what I mean? When halogens combine with hydrogen, they form hydrohalides or hydrohalic acid. For example, what is this? HF. This is what? Hydrogen fluoride. Are you with me? Then the next is what? HCl. What is this one? Hydrogen chloride. In a fear now. Next one is what? HBr. What is this? Hydrogen bromide. And this one, H what? I. Hydrogen iodide. All of them are acids. All of them are what? Acids. Which one is strongest of them? Which one is strongest? <laughs> Go to court if you're not satisfied. You don't know. Let me let me tell you something. The reason is simple. Size. Periodic table is very, very important as far as chemistry is concerned. Periodic table try to describe the size of this atom based on their position. The position of hydrogen periodically, if it does look like hydrogen is the first uh, hydrogen. Hello? Hello? It's like I won't be going this side. Hello? 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 Okay. Now, the periodic table classify elements in a way to explain their size. Now, periodically or periodicity of atomic radius or atomic size of atom says that if you want to move across the period, maybe this is um, left, this is right. What happened to size of atom? Is the size of atom increasing or decreasing? Ah, now wow. Well. The size of atom, if, I don't know if I say decrease now. You don't even know why it says decrease. I'm not the Size of atom decreases. If an atom size tends to become smaller when you move across the world, period. But if you move down the group, size of atom does what? It gets bigger. And which atom, which of these three, four atoms of halogen is the smallest? Fluorine. Let me assume that this is the size of fluorine. This is the size of fluorine. By the time you start going down to meet chlorine, what do you have? The size starts to what? Increase. Then bromine, you have something like this. Iodine, this one will not even enter it, but let me try. Something like this. This is the size. And then you now want to compare it with size of hydrogen. Hydrogen is the smallest, lightest up there. So it is almost the same size with what? Fluorine. The same, almost the same size with fluorine. Almost the same size with fluorine. Fluorine is slightly bigger than hydrogen because if you have, you have left that across. Okay, now listen. It does look, let me say they are, they are equal. Let me say they are equal. Let's say they are equal. They are equal. Okay, for how the surface area of those two atoms attached or held together. You see how they are you see how the surface area, the surface area of both H atom and F atom, they are what? Equal. But if you compare the same size of hydrogen to that of chlorine, you will not get that same surface area you are seeing in HF. Here. Look at the hydrogen. Look at the what? Chlorine. The surface area that that's shows in HF, this is HF, the, the, rate, of the, the rate of the attraction here and the heat of the attraction here which one do you think is more attracted hfab no now this is just like half of the uh, half of the 
atom of chlorine attached to all the surface of hydrogen. In dissociation, it has to do with how the atoms pair or bond. Now, when you talk about dissociation now, which one we tend to dissociate easily when they are in solution? Is it HCl or HF? HCl. By the time you are going again, if you know that now, kick out of which is another H here, got to quite small. This one got to be very easy to dissociate, sharp, sharp. The one that will dissociate vigorously, are you with me now? Is what? This one. Because there is no even, it does look like that. This IOD is not even aware that there is only any hydrogen here. It's not even aware. So, if you put the two, the four acids in solution, the one that will dissociate into ion, it will be the strongest acid. So, the stronger acid here is what? HI. This followed by what? HBr. Then what? HCl. This one is a weak what? Acid. But those from the hydrohalic acid started from what? From HF, which appears to be what? To be what? Weak. Going down the group, acidity does what? Increases. I mean, uh, going down the group now, the hydride in acidity does what? Increases. So if you want to compare the four hydrohalic acid, the most strongest of them is what? HI. That does not mean that HCl is not strong acid though. But if you want to compare it with other member of those acid, it means that HI is what? It's more stronger than what? HCl. The weakest among them is what? HF. Reason is because of the size. Size here is, is what? Complementary with what? Hydrogen. Because the same thing also happen. Why? The same reason is the same thing that is why going down as, it, as the atomic number is increasing. Size of the atom is what? Increasing. Now what happened to the Van der Waal force? Van der Waal. Okay, maybe Van der Waal. The four that hold the molecules because they are diatomic now. Two now. F, F2, Cl2, the other one two, the other one two. The four that is holding the atoms in the molecule is what? Van der Waal. Going down the group, what happened to Van der Waal? Increases. Van der Waal is strongest here. That is why these members are changing gradually from gas to what? To liquid. I've seen a couple of exams where they were asked to, uh, uh, um, which non-metal, which non-metal occur at liquid at room temperature? Which non-metal is liquid at room temperature? Bromine. Is what? Bromine. Which non metal? Or which metal is liquid at room temperature? Mercury. Which halogen is solid at room temperature? That's okay. Explain why hydrogen is solid at room temperature. Because going down the group, as molecular weight increases, Van der Waal force what? Increase. The Van der Waal force is now holding the atoms to what? Together. Look, it makes the atom look as if they are closely what? Packed. I know that when it's when a substance is said to be solid, when the atoms, when the particles are together, but when the particles start to disperse, they start to turn to what? Liquid. From there to vapor, from there to what? Gaseous. So which one is gas among the halogen? Fluorine and what? Chlorine. But as you are going down, the size is now affecting their matter states. They now have to change from gas to liquid from liquid to what solid that is why iodine is what solid leave the matter come over here weak electrolytes this this and this weak electrolyte let's go to non-electrolyte the next category non-electrolyte non-electrolyte so non-electrolyte Compounds. 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 That in their solutions. In their solutions. Or aqueous states. In their solutions or aqueous states. Do not allow. 
do not allow passage of electric currents. Do not allow passage of electric currents. Compounds that in their solutions, compounds that in their solutions or aqueous states do not allow passage of electric currents. Example. 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 Most organic compounds. Most organic compounds. Most organic compounds. Or covalent compounds such as most organic compounds or covalent compounds such as such as such as glucose glucose comma urea 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 comma alcohol alcohol in bracket ethanol in bracket ethanol alcohol in bracket ethanol comma sucrose 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 et well, let me add one more kerosene kerosene it is Kerosene. I think you know what's kerosene. Kerosene. What's kerosene? A hydrocarbon. A hydro what? Carbon. Compound that contain what? Carbon and what? Hydrogen. Such compound can come from what? Ions. If we hear the can C six H fourteen. Can this compound dissociate into any ions? Can it dissociate? Cannot dissociate. It can't dissociate. There's no ion known for carbon now. There's no for hydrogen. But if you have something like HCl, this can dissociate to give you what? H plus plus what? Cl minus. The reason why HCl is dissociating, even though it's covalent, is because of high polarity. There is more polarity here than C and H. Do you understand what is polarity? Those that don't understand, I don't know what, what, to, what to do here. I'm not doing polar bonds. Okay? High polarity. If not, this is non-metal, non-metal. Non-metal, non-metal. Why this one conducting electricity in aqueous form? But this one is not conducting polarity. Now, let me just give you an idea. The electronegativity difference between H and Cl, the very wide. Can you give an example? This is 3.0. This is what? 2.1. Take difference here. But this one is 2.1. 2.4 2.5 i mean check the difference difference in this in negativity of this is what 0. what 4 difference here is far than what 0. 0.4 now a, a, a bond is said to be polarized a bond is said to be polarized if the electronegativity difference if the ele electronegativity difference between the atom and the molecule is 0 0.5 and what? Above. Okay, so when I 0 0.5, the bond is what? Polarized. That means the, the, there will be uneven distortion of charges. Okay, we a situation whereby one particular side of the pole is what? Partially positive. The other one is what? Partially what? Negative. That partial charge is formed, though it's not a full charge. That partial charge is formed means that these two can dissociate in solution into those charges. That is what? Positive and what? Negative. This one cannot dissociate at all. Even if you put it in a very high standard across medium, it will still not what? Dissociate. And this compound are what? Weak what? Electrolytes. Let us go to number two. Another term. Very important term. Number two. Number two. Number two. Conductors. Is it three? I know it's number two. Oh, that couldn't say lose losing attention from class. What is what goes number three? Where is number two? That is where your problem will start. Oh, now you take a collision, now you have a problem. Number two. Number one is electrolyte. Abi? 
All these things are categories. There are three of them. I be. It could have, it could have said it's number four, self. Or number five. Because can I check KK and water and KK? Electrolyte number one. Strong electrolyte number two. Weak number three. No, number four. Uh, this should be number five. No problem. Any number, choose it. Number, any number. Any number you want to choose, choose it. Number uh, next. Conductors. Conductor. Conductor. I used to teach in a village school. And I happened to ask them a question in exam compound. In the village school, they started giving me some examples. Give me an example of conversation. They giving me no examples in their compound. Uh, we will go to the compound. You know that kind of thing. The conductor, they are telling me that. <laughs> they see the question as too cheap. The village school, you know, you need to have compassion it because you know these people are suffering. I want to give them exa ex exam so that they don't fail. You give them simple thing like define compound. SS3, define compound, define conductor, they will still fail it. They will disappoint you at every given opportunity. <laughs> conductor. Give an example of conductor. They are calling the names of people they know as conductor. Or people that have left that school that are dead like conductors. <laughs> now, right, conductors. Conductors, are they metal or non metal? They are metals. Conductors, are they element or compound? Are they compound or elements? They are elements. Conductors are elements. Now, that will take me back to electrolyte and conductors. Differentiate the two. Electrolyte, are they compounds or elements? Compounds. No, not just a compound. Because not all compounds are electrolytes. Okay? But you should know, all electrolytes are compounds. But not all compounds are what? Electrolytes. I think I can give you examples of compounds that are not electrolytes. I think one, one of them is glucose now. Glucose. It's not a compound. But they're non electrolytes. Compound like that doesn't dissociate. No matter what you do, you can't dissociate into ions. So they are just a compound. But not what? Electrolytes. Now, met, uh, what do you call it? Conductors are metal. Now, let me tell you something. Uh, conductors, are they all metals? Must a conductor be a metal? I think there is one particular non metal that can also be a conductor. Example. Example graphite. Graphite is a non metal, but a conductor. I used to see this kind of question. Give one example of a non-metal that is a conductor. That says what? Graphite. Why is graphite a conductor? Despite the fact it's a non-metal. It has what? Free mobile. Not just mobile electron. Free mobile delocalized electron. It's there. Because in graphite, the bonding is not the graphite is not graphite appear, appear not to use all the how many how many valence electrons are there in a in an atom of carbon? Is it not four? But unfortunately, it during bonding, you know, you know, you know, in in carbon, carbon, um, carbon is a giant molecule. She you know, you know, it's you know what I mean, giant. That's why I tell people that. Giant molecule is not only when you have monomers, monomers joining to form polymer. I say they are giant. Carbon is also a giant molecule. Because carbon can form networks. Networks of what? Carbon. Okay? This network of carbon are now what? Interlinked together. Now when they interlink, they now form that giant what? Structure. As you see in diamond and what? Graphite. These two are what? Giants. They are what? Giants. Giant substance. I mean, when I say Hello. 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 Okay. Please.
Hello. Okay, let me see this question. Uncle, please, ethanol acid is a weak acid. It's a weak electrolyte. And ethanol is not an electrolyte. Please, what is their difference? Ah. Uh, it's a good question. From the uh, yeah, ah. no, from the uh, what's this? Ethanol what? Acid. And what is this? What is this? Ethanol. Aqueous solution of this particular acid gives what? H plus. And uh, that means that this acid is it, is it a tetrabasic or monobasic acid? Is it monobasic or tetrabasic? Or polybasic? Is what? I thought it would be polybasic. You see the harmony atoms of H there. See, check it now. What happened to the, that one at the at the metal? It's not counted, Abby. Do you know why it's not counted? Why it's not counted together with the other one? Because that one is a hydrocarbon chain now. Don't do anything to the hydrocarbon chain. You leave it alone. Now, what you will see here is... Now, here, let me just bring out the, the functional group that determines why ethanoic acid is an acid. Which is what? C O O what? H. That is why. The reason is because you see this thing now. Oh, but now we are going to say that ethanol dioic is diabetic because okay, with this COOH, how many two in that molecule? But this ethanol acid now, the functional group that determines the reactive, the the reactive group of this compound is what COOH. Which bond here is hydrogen bond? Which bond here is hydrogen bond? Is it this bond? This bond? This bond? The one that is directly linked to hydrogen with what? Oxygen. When you want to know if polarity exists in this bond, you know what is polarity now? Try to check the electronegativity difference between the two atoms here. Let's check. Between oxygen and hydrogen, which one is more electronegative? Okay, mono electron hacker. They share electron. Let me show you something. This is oxygen. I want to use dots to show the atomos electron. That is the electron at the outer shell. Let me use dots. One, two, three, four, five, what? Six. That is it, isn't it? That is the valence, Abby. How many electrons here are bonded electron? Two. That is open or chime bonding now. Open or chime bond. Oxygen can only use this electron and this electron for bonding. That is why you see that in this, how many bonds are linked to oxygen alone? Two. Nobody is free ever. All that two be here. But in calling you to carbon, what did I care, man? I am interested in is on that link to what? Hydrogen. Hydrogen also contributed one electron. So, but for the fact that this particular oxygen is more electronegative, the two electrons in this bond will what? Will be attracted to what? Oxygen. Now, when this electron goes to oxygen, this side becomes partially what? Positive. And it becomes partially what? Negative. Or, open each up a bond there now. Where will the electron go? The two electrons go to oxygen, making this side C O O what? Minus. Then making the other side what? H what? Plus. This particular, this particular functional group or this particular acid has dissociated in solution to form what positive and what negative charge. So during migration now, one way migrates, one now has electrical mobility, the other one also has it. But in this case, this ethanol cannot dissociate into any ion. Are you with me now? Let's see. You have something like C, C. 2 O what H. It's not going to dissociate. Even though it shows hydrogen bond here. It's not dissociating to any extent. Because this one is dissociated because there is carbonyl. Is there any carbonyl group in alcohol? No free carbonyl. So they don't, they don't dissociate into what? Ions. So the compound here, this alcohol here, is what? Is a non-electrolyte. But ethanoic acid 
It is an electrolyte. Only that. It does not dissociate completely. So it is now referred to as what? Non-electrolyte. The issue is that the compound must have an ion if it dissociates. Any compound that dissociates into ions. Water is dissociated into H plus ion and OH minus what? Ion. So it's an electrolyte, but not strong because dissociation is not what? 100 watt percent. That is why ethanoic acid, a weak electrolyte. Alcohol, a non electrolyte. Have you ever seen an alcohol dissociate into ions? It cannot dissociate. It can't dissociate. There is no dissociation in what? Alcohol. It can't dissociate, but acids are what? Good example of what? Compound are what? Dissociate. Whether strong or what? Weak. But take note, not all organic compounds are non-electrolyte. There are some organic compounds that are electrolytes. Example, ethanoic what? Acid. Those also are electrolytes. But glucose, organic compounds, some of them that doesn't have ions are non what Electrolytes. Okay, let me go to what I'm doing. Now, I was saying something here, which is conductor. Conductors are elements. So if I want to define conductor, I say conductors are elements. Or conductors are metallic elements and graphite. You must go like this. Yes. We'll take it out. Conductors are metallic elements. Conductors are metallic elements. Oh, yeah, Sim, calm down. I don't want to insult you. If I calm down now, you will not understand this thing. You better I did not calm down, though. Conductors are metallic elements or graphite. See your onion. Or graphite that can allow passage of electricity. That can allow passage of electricity. That can allow passage of electricity. To flow through them. To flow through them. In their solids. In their solids. In their what? Solids. In the word, solid word states. Full stop. They conduct electricity. They conduct electricity due to presence. They conduct electricity due to presence of free mobile. Due to presence of free mobile. Delocalize. Delocalize. Free mobile. It is delocalize. Localize. D. Delocalize. So the free mobile. Delocalize electrons. Delocalize what? Electrons. Full stop. Now let me give you the issue of carbon and graphite. Carbon, I mean diamond and graphite. This is carbon. This is carbon. This is the valency of carbon. All the electrons in this carbon, when they are used for bonding, they form this kind of structure. This, you know, this is diamond. How do I know this is diamond? Because all the valence electrons are being used for what? Bonding. She? Is there any free mobile electrons in diamond? There is no electrons. That means the bonding that occurs here is the bonding called sp3. SP3. That's one S overlap with how many P orbitals? Three. All of them are used for bonding. One of the electrons is from S. Let me show you something you don't know. Carbon is one S2. Two S2. Two P2. Have you? But in my God, that normally in excitation states, this is not correct. What you should have is what? Two P3 and what? One. If you like it. So in this case now, since these two is the yellow shell, the last shell. These two is also the last shell. So you have to now use the electrons, both for bonding. How many have you used? Four. How many S do you use? One. How many P do you use? Three. What type of bonding is there in diamond? SP3. In case if you ask what type of hybridization 
in diamond, sp3. You know, you didn't see that the electrons all through in the valency have been used up for bonding. No electrons. That's why electrons they are not do you know it's delocalized. Opposite of localized means localized means it is located. Delocalized means it is not what located, it can move about. But diamond, difference between that and diamond is that in diamond. It's the same C. One, two, three, four. Only these ones are used. It goes like this. These ones are not used. And you good at now. You want to call the same configuration. One S2. Two S1. Three. But it does mean that this one here that is not used. So minus it off. Minus it off. So it should be 2P2. That is it. 2P2. Where is the extra one? Now let watch me. This piece still have empty orbitals she then no, no, then complete that there about one two okay, wait, one do you get point and the what two they're still empty orbital and if you go if you start going there are still orbitals after, after 2p what next orbital do you have 3s 3p and what 3d this particular electron is free to what to move here and if it's not comfortable here it moves to the next one and if it's not comfortable here it will do the what next one the electron is free to move and if uh, as it is moving it is moving carrying what charge that charge is what electricity now because of this diamond is not as hard i mean sorry graphite is not as hard as what diamond okay maybe the layer okay we layer structure that slide that slide because of that it is what slippery the slipperiness is the reason why it is now used as a lubricant there are so many things you can say about this electron that was not used for bonding one due to this electron diamond is a good conductor of electricity due to this free electron diamond is what god i don't know why diamond is i don't know why diamond i so much like to use the word diamond please you know if i say diamond since i'm pointing at this one it is the way of saying graphite please i'm here i'm through with this one. so all this i just said now is what graphite graphite is a good conductor because of this electron graphite is soft and used as lubricant because of this word electron because this electron will not make it have layer structure if not going to stay there so it's, uh, it's if it's moving the structure is not that is not that rigid but what layered okay and this is why it is now used as what lubricants but as far as this particular one is concerned the reason why it is a conductor we use it as anode and what cathode is because of this free mobile word electron if assuming that in bonding graphite use all this electron during chemical bonding I think by now we shouldn't have been talking about graphite as a conductor. Okay, but that all non-metals are non-conductors. No exceptions. But because of this kind of bonding here, graphite is a what? Conductor of what? Electricity. That's why we cannot talk about electrolytes without what? Graphites. Because sometimes it is used as what? Electrodes. Inact what? Electrode. During electrolysis. This is it. Then, what about electrolytes? Electrolyte, how do they conduct electricity? Is it mobile electron or what? How does electrolyte conduct electricity? That is to distinguish the two now. Both are good conductors. Both are conductors. They both can allow electricity to be. But now, listen. Electrolyte, what is their charge carrier? The charge carrier in electrolyte is what? Free mobile hydrated what? Ions. For conductors, for conductors, their charge carrier is what? Electron. Are you with me? For electrolyte, their charge carrier is what? Ions. Are you with me? But they will note, MB, note, note that the charge carrier, note that the charge carrier Note that the charge carrier, the charge carrier of a conductor, of a conductor, 
of a conductor is free mobile delocalized electron. Free mobile, the charge carrier, the charge carrier of a conductor is free mobile delocalized electron. Why the charge carrier of electrolytes? Why the charge carrier of electrolytes? Why the charge carrier of electrolytes? A free mobile. A free mobile. A free mobile. Hydrated ions. Free mobile. Hydrated ions. Free mobile. Hydrated what? Ions. Why the charge carrier of electrolytes is what? Free mobile. Hydrated what? Ions. Full stop. Why electrolyte conducts? Continue writing. Why electrolyte conducts? Conducts. Why electro why 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 not why 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 electrolyte conducts by decomposition by decomposition by decomposition comma conductors do not decompose do not decompose do not what decompose during the process, during the process of electrical conductivity, during the process of electrical conductivity, during the process of what? Electrical what? Conductivity. Conductivity. You know what I mean by that? You know what I mean by that? If you have something like um, copper, is a conductor. In the process, can co copper decompose? Is there anything that you can get if copper decompose means can it split? Can it split? It splits to what? What is an atom? What is atom? What is an atom? A smallest particle of an element or substance which can which cannot split okay, and still take part in a chemical reaction. And in the point re still retain its what? Chemical gene property. You retain the chemical property able to go down all the way, solid. So nothing will happen. But all the will turn out SO4. Now, can this thing decompose now? Yes. Into what? Cu2 plus plus what? SO4 2 minus. This is decomposition. And that is how electrolyte functions. Before they can now conduct what? Electricity. That means they will change their composition at the end of the reaction. But conductors cannot change their what? Composition. Number three, on any number you own, electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell. Right. This is where all electrolytic reaction occurs. This is where all electrolytic reaction occurs. This is where all electrolytic what reaction occurs. Full stop. Full stop. It is a device. It is a device. It is a device. That con it is a device that converts electrical energy. It is a device that converts electrical energy to Geniketa. To Gini chemical MCQ multi choice. It is a device that what converts what electrical energy to Gini chemical energy. What is electrochemical cell? 
What is electrochemical? Oh, are they, can you use it interchangeably? Yes, Kwa. Can you use electrochemical cell together with, is it the same thing with electrolytic cell? It is not the same. But what is electrochemical cell? Good. A device that converts chemical to what? Electrical. It converts chemical, sorry, it converts, yes, it converts what? Chemical to what? Electrical. Example is what? Daniel cell. Okay, my Tega battery. What do you call Tega battery? Le clincher. Cell. Galvanic cell. All these batteries are what? Are electrochemical cell. Okay, but I Are what? Electrochemical cell. They have the capacity to convert. The chemical stored energy to give it electrical energy. Well, this is not what we are talking about now. Let's start with what? Electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell. Let me tell you what electrolysis means literally. No, no, no. Can you see what here? I don't know what I'm defining. A chemical process. If you don't put a chemical process, I don't know how you want to Define it now. Some say it is a decomposition. Who told this that it's a process? It's say I can take from a process. Is what a process? Do you know the process? A process whereby you will set up your apparatus. You will also bring something like a generator, something like we pass a direct word current, and you want to define such such principle. You are not putting a process. It's wrong. A chemical process which do, does what? Splits. That split means what? Decomposition. That is electrolysis. And every electrolysis reaction, where does it occur? Electrolytic what? Cell. Then, then, if that is the case, in that electrolytic cell, in that electrolytic cell, the cathode, there is anode. There is what? Cathode. What is the cathode made of? Is the cathode the negative electrode or positive electrode? Wait, i ask the question again. i ask the question again. Is the cathode positive or negative? Neg negative. In electrolytic cell, cathode is what? Negative. Anode is what? Positive. In electrochemical cell, cathode is positive, anode is negative. Please take no it and no peace. No it and no peace. It's good you know this. So they don't get confused in the exam. I repeat. I will repeat it again. In electrolytic cell, the one I want to draw now on the board, cathode is negative. Anode is what? Positive. You can change the You got fear. But in can guess as in the name, can guess, and I will use it. I'll just add another one I put on top, which is what? Electrochemical. In electrochemical, anode is what? Negative. For cathode to be what? Positive. That's what I want to say. And then, and then, the cell. Let's look at the cell. It's right here. This is bigger. Okay, in this beaker, please. If you are drawing, you know I have to put up his <laughs> make his his place is for the battery that will be on top of it. Make a, make a space for because if you are drawing without this space, I don't think you're going to complete your own. Okay, now fix fix fix. I'll put I'll dip in this cell. What is this? The electrode. Okay, this is one of the electrodes, and I would like. It, once I 
this electrode, getting your plus sign in it. Okay, what does this electrode mean? It means the word anode. Let me write what I'm drawing. Electro, elect, electrolytic, what? Cell, not chemical. Okay, I'll do the same thing this side. And this side is what? Minus. This is what? Cathode. Let me lab here. I like to lab here. This is what? Anode. And this is what? Cathode. What do I put inside here? Electrolytes. Those compounds that you know, when they are in solution, they what? Dissociate. You put them here. So let's write is what? Electrolytes. Then, I have to put a source where direct current will now flow in. Okay? In here. So I put the cell like this. I told you it's not entering. What is this with this symbol? Cell. That cell now is my is a Daniel cell. Since it is a Daniel cell, in the Daniel cell, if I have something like plus here, what does it mean? It's a cathode. So here, now this particular cell now is my word. Is my word cathode. This is not the same thing with this again. This is now a, a source of electricity that I've put on top here. Because literally, I told you that electrolysis is an onunditi. Can you tell you what you mean? Literally. Literally, the etymology of electrolysis is that it's two words, two Greek words. One is what? Electrolysis. The electro there means electricity. Lysis means what? Breakdown. Can they ever? Electrolysis. Electro. Electro is what? Electricity. Abi? Electricity. The word lysis. Breakdown. So, literally speaking, what is electrolysis? The breakdown of compound using electricity. But don't define it like that in Wayek. But literally, breakdown of compound. What do you use to break compound down? Electricity. So that is the electricity that is going to go into the cell. That is what you are having here. Battery. Or uh, we can wear a tiny plug. A kunya and these sockets. Or pass while I current in the Do you get the point now? Or you put a battery. This is why this is wire. This wire connects the wire of this electrode to the what? Cathode of the cell. Connect this one coming here to the word anode of the other cell. So this side is my word anode. But this is this this particular thing is my word DC. Give me DC. Direct current supply. DC supply. Here we got DC word supply. So I complete my cell now. You can draw now. Okay. Now, if you see something like plus, what does this plus mean? Cation. What does this one mean here? Anion. So this one of this is what? Cation. One of this is what? Anion. Is it is not complete? Take it down. What is supplying that cell? What is supplying that cell energy to do work is this DC. Is it DC supply? Yes. Why is it direct current? What is the direct current in physics? What do you say about direct current in physics? It cannot be alternating current. This current will not interfere with the reaction. The current should be directly towards this reaction. Not alternating current. That's two types of current. It's like AC. We don't use AC here. We use special type of current DC supply. That's why we specified 
type of current you are passing you are using through that cell okay now simple take take of this only know that only know this acronym or always remember in this kind of cell use this thing to remember something what is panic what does panic mean positive anode in electrolytic cell positive anode negative is cathode if i were you i'll just put that acronym to always get myself no this at all time in electrolytic cell if it's in electrochemical chemical cell i'll tell you my own i'll tell you another acronym when i'll get to that Okay, so comp some components in this cell I would like to introduce. I would like to explain here before I now go to the main context of the class is the anode and the cathode. Okay. Of course, you know. Okay, this has been explained here. What does it mean? Flow of electron. Have you? That means electron is living through which electrode? Anode. Electron is going into this electrolyte through which electrode? Cathode. You see now. Now, don't see this. This is a cell. This is the flow. This is from where the electron flows. From what? Well, let me show how the electron flows like that. Now, these two, these two electrodes, cathode and what? Anode. Watch this. Where does oxidation occur in these two electrodes? Oxidation, anode. What is oxidation? In terms of transfer of electron, oxidation is the loss of electron loss of electron so any any ions that migrate to the anode will lose electron let's see let's say we have something like um like something like chlorine chloride ion you know it's negative so it's going to this electrode it's an anion so why the word anode is because it is an anion electrode that's why it is called anode because anion migrate to anode. Then cations migrate to what? Cathode. That's why the name is derived. Cathode and what? Anode. But watch this now. In this regard, chlorine will lose electron. She? She? Why is chlorine losing electron to the anode? Anode is part of the electrode that is deficient of electron. The defi anode is deficient. That is why Ion that migrate to anode will lose what? Electron. Now, when the electron is lost, now, now it does mean that now, el electron will now start to flow. If an electron will leave. Hello? Electron will leave the electrolyte from where? Anode. And enters the electrolyte again from where? Cathode. So, which one is electron efficient? Cathode. No, no, no. Effi 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 efficient means that no way. Excess. Electron. That is why anything that comes, any particular ion that comes here, we gain electron. Let's say this is copper, and copper comes here to deposit at this electrode. Copper will do what? Gain. Copper is gaining the electron that was lost from what? Anode. The ion that give up electron here, the ion that will go here will now what? Reduce by what? Receiving that what? Electron. That is why it's a complete execute. It yeah, execute now. A little migrate from here and then and now enters back again from here. Circuit is not complete. If the electron that left this particular electrode is not completed from it's not completed by going into the electrolyte again the second time. 
from this electrode. It means that the circuit is yet to be what? Complete. Circuit is complete. Where electron from here that move from here gets to here. And then a, a cation gets reduced by getting that electron. That is the only way this circuit can work complete. It's what? It's cellular mechanism. Like in this case now. Remember that electron that was used to split these ions. Let's say this is copper 2 chloride, like this. What does these two things do here? Did this supply? The electron flows in. Watch me, watch it. Electron flows in this cell and then cause the decomposition of what? Cu to Cu here is Cu2 plus. And then this as what? 2 Cl what? Minus. This is the first thing that happened. Before copper now migrates here. Are you with me? Then this migrates here. This reaction is redox because it's going on at the same what? time. As chlorine migrates here, what happened to chlorine? It loses electron to the what? Anode. Are you with me? It loses how many electrons to the anode? How many? No, no, no. It can't be one. It's what? Two. How do you know it's two? Cl minus can form Cl2. That means this is two. This needs how many to react? Two. So how many electron flows from that anode? Is what? Two E. So when you see that two E leave the anode. First, leave the electrolyte to the what? Anode. And then enter back again from the what? Cathode. This is when this circuit is what? Complete. The, work, the modalities of this cell is just exactly as what? Electrochemical cell. If you understand this cell, you are halfway to understand what? Dynamic cell. Because dynamic cell has cathode and what? Anode. Only that the anode is negative. Cathode is what? Positive. But oxidation takes place at the what? Anode. Why reduction occurs at the what? Cathode. In electrochemical cell. Now you watch it for that now. Why? Why this cell? Why this cell is called electrolytic cell? Or why this cell is a device that change that converts electrical to chemical? It's because this reaction is non-spontaneous. You know what I mean by non-spontaneous? The reaction cannot occur if there is no electricity. It means that this compound now, this compound can never decompose if current does not enter here. It means that this particular cell cannot happen if there is no electricity. And that electricity is what decomposes this cell, this compound, into what? Copper 2. And what? Cl what? Minus. That same electricity is the reason why this copper can migrate because it's not carrying what? Charge. Now, you're not saying that the electric, electric, electric energy, electrical energy, is now, is now causing the functioning of a chemical substance. The chemical substance, the energy in chemical substance is called what? Chemical what? Energy. The energy in electrical is what? Electrical what? Energy. Now, energy has been transformed, Abby, from where to where? From electrical to what? Chemical. That is why this device converts what? Electrical energy to what? Chemical energy. Well, because we go without the electricity, this reaction cannot what? Occur. Odroka, Odroka, electrochemical cell, which the device is spontaneous. How come it's spontaneous? In electrochemical cell, the one that is, the one that is, this one is using to carry out is just like this particular cell is dependent on what electrochemical what cell. This DC is battery, and all batteries are what electrochemical what cell. Are you with me? Are you with me? What what do you think? What do you see inside the tiger battery? But the kigudi the kigudi as tiger battery. What will you see? You see a metallic silver, okay? Yeah? That thing is zinc. Yes, now. That thing is pretty metallic. Meet the car, that waterproof. That, what do you call it? That paper, that thing natural red. If you that fine metallic silver color, that is zinc. That zinc you see there is the anode. 
Then you would see rays of the wazi into two. If we blacken up today, yeah? that thing is graphite. If I come to this lesson, I will come with the battery. I'll show you. You will see magic. I'll show you. Oh, do practical here. Then the gazette, gazette, gazette. The kawazi, the 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 graphite is the cathode. The zinc is the what? Anode. Do you know why you get what is it? Plus, hey, they will even show you in the battery. Plus and what? Minus. You will take battery now. Who the Mephisis? Who the Mephisis now? How can the Mephisis? What the battery? What is the battery now? What is the wire now? I see from the cathode, from the anode. Tiny and a plus sign of the battery. What then? Car. Tiny here. The only problem I have with that battery is that electron volt here, but I think I think it's zero. It's one point one volts. Or uh, man, nature here actually I say a lot, but let's just use it as example. Okay, then you the wire connect here, but what the wire car connect here, but what will happen? Watch what will happen. The zinc, that's metallic part of here, which is zinc. The zinc will dissolve. How does zinc dissolve? The zinc dissolves, then lose electron. How does zinc? This is the reaction. Zinc was solid. It then dissolve. You know, I told you that the zinc is the anode. Right? It dissolve by doing what? By losing two guinea electron. This two electron was the reason. This the electron that flows. Watch it how it flew. Now electron. Can you forget me now? Electron zone that was released. Let me assume that these two things now are the tiger battery. These two electrons that was released from the zinc compartment. That is the anode. This is the anode. Okay, we enter here. This is flow of current. This is what? Flow of current. Or do you look at the same thing with flow of electron? And can I get a flow of what? Current. Current enters like this. Current enters by or clockwise here. By what? Clockwise. Electron enters by anti-clockwise. Anti now. Anti is anti. But watch it now. Current now. The current, the two E now, the two E from the zinc, the, uh, the, the electricity that was required to decompose this electrolyte enters from where? From where? From the from where? Wait now, wait now. Is it anode? Is it because you're seeing anode? Enters through the to enter through what? Cathode. This anode is the battery. This is the battery. This is the battery. Abi? This is the battery. Sure? Now, if we minus somewhere here, if we plus somewhere here, the plus if labor now is what? Is what? Cathode. This is what? Anode. You will tell the wire, wire anode. Okay? Tinez is side. Okay, for like it. What is it called? It's in the key. What do you want to say? This cathode and anode of the battery. What you only know that once the zinc from here dissolves, if the electron is used, used up, man, this battery is a battery that is, is the reactions here are irreversible. Once the chemicals are used up, they cannot be recharged. She, why you to see zinc? Battery are called again soft because the zinc has all been used up, up, or rechargeable like lead acid accumulator. leto. Are you with me? No, no, no. The zinc, the zinc that dissolves. Supplies this electron. This is the electron. Get this. This what electron. She. How does the electron flow? The electron will now enter here from where the cathode. The cathode of the electrolytes from from the electrolytic cell. Because if you watch, if you have you done so now, if you get that on banyo zeba, decompose with this electrolytes. All decompose where copper zeba. Chlorine agaba. Chlorine now gives electron here. She that electron that was supplied. That that electrical energy has now become chemical now. Or Tagoria. That electron that, that chlorine now, now lose to this anode. Now give up to the anode. The anode will now move the electron, not current. And make sure it gets back to cathode. So that the circuits can be what? Complete. 
That is electrolytic what? Cell. Are you with me now? So now, what is the what is the role of the anode here? The anode. Now let's say I say electron leaves. I didn't say current. Electron leaves. Electron leaves the what? The electrolytes through the what? Anode. And enters back to the electrolyte through the word cathode. Finish. How does current flow? Current flows from where to where? From the I'm a common anode. Anode battery. Forget here. Current enters from the cathode to the what? It enters through the cathode to the electrolyte. And then leave the electrolyte through the what? Anode. Does it follow? Maybe you want to copy it. You gotta read it later. Please, I'm lost. Can you start from. Is that just a from organization? Oh, yeah, Mama, we're doing here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to call you on. Man, go on. What do you mean? I call you. What do you mean? I call you. I'm going to tell you. Tell you. Who name me? Kita can take our electrochemical cell. I'm going to go. I'm going to talk and consider this topic. Let me tell you what to do. I do know that. I already informed you before this class that I will teach electrolysis on Friday. After four or five days. You are still behaving as somebody that have never, as if I'm teaching you this thing for the first time. It's bad. We in my coqueta. Nah, I don't I just you watch in my class today. I didn't even want to go advance. I want to stick to your level. I don't want to teach you anything that is not relevant. I want to teach you how it's we come out. Ndina man put a mantle for going the side down. We're going to can't carry this cell again. Going to this cell is very simple. Is it, this cell is in your textbook? What is it doing there? What is it doing there? Yeah, it's, there. it's just there for day for day's sake. You're not reading it. This cell is in your textbook. Textbook on that drone. Man, you want to go to textbook? What is what textbook? This is a cell. This is not any cell. I'm a battery. What your phone battery? Your phone battery? Forget about this battery. Now, this cell, look at the components. Look at the component. Look at the component. Go, go back, go back. Go, 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 go. You go out and come back. You do you, you look like what do you all have? Or you look like people, people that start writing writing stuff from maybe ask you to start start from atomic structure. I don't understand. Now listen, we're getting leave this upside. Let's concentrate on this listen these three components what is this anode cathode electrolytes do you get the points these three now the reason why these two electrodes are dipped in these electrolytes guaranteed they're guaranteed this class if it's not easy you will not understand the reason why these two electrodes is dipped inside here is so that when the electrolyte decompose okay they can see where to migrate. Again, in the course of this lecture, I will start stay, I will start to inform you by telling you that the natures of electrode you need to use, depending on the electrolytes. So I will use something that if you put it here, it will start to dissolve inside. And then it will interfere with your reaction. That's why there are three factors that will affect electrolysis. This is electrolysis discharge what are they one is what nature of what electrode then i will not tell you the electrode you use the ones that are commonly used if you don't want any problem to happen you use ones that are what inert okay inert electro will not interfere with the reactions are you with me so now you dip it inside so that ions will see where to migrate that's the first thing what is this thing doing here to make sure you break up this thing if not the electrolyte cannot decompose. This process is not spontaneous. It's not a reaction that can happen on its own will. It needs condition to happen. And that condition is supplied by what? Current. 
electricity. When he said that a reaction is not feasible, or that a reaction is not spontaneous, what does he mean? It means that if I have something like CaCO3 that should decompose to CaO plus CO2, this can only happen if you hit it, if you hit this thing. But if you do not hit this thing, this thing will remain like this from now till we made it. What does he it mean? It means that this reaction is not what? Spontaneous. But can only be spontaneous at high temperature. It also means that this thing is not spontaneous, but can only be spontaneous when you supply what? Electric current. That is why. What does the electric current you supply do? It decompose. They make the ions to be mobile. He makes he gives the chemical substance the energy to move to move to move. Copper can my no no you know what is my you know what is my great move. It's not mobile. It moves to cathode. It goes move to what anode. But how does the electron? How sorry? How does the current enters inside? From the anode of the battery, would dissolve, supply the electron, dash here, the cathode of this cell, which now bring it inside, cause it to decompose. Wait in here, or decompose the Then the chlor chlor chlorine of it goes to what? Anode. Give away his free electrons. When you give away the electron, the electron also had to lift this electrolyte this time through the anode. And enters back to the electrolyte to the world cathode so that the circuit can what completes. This is electrolysis. Sorry, this is what electrolytic cell. I don't need to start to explain this thing. Is there any question here again? You don't need to write it because it should be just not this is now. Yes, your question. Okay, somebody says, is rechargeable battery a primary cell or secondary? You ask, you answer yourself that question. When a battery, when a battery is rechargeable, it means that once the substance in that battery is used, it is reversible. So it means that that battery is what? Secondary. But once chemicals in the battery is not reversible, it means it is what? Primary. Oh, we come to that. This is, this is still yet to come. Not now. It's yet to come. Is that to come? Is that to come? Well, now listen. In all of this thing now we've been saying now, let's analyze it one by one under this. Right. Quantitative and qualitative electrolysis subheading. Quantitative and qualitative electrolysis. Quantitative and qualitative electrolysis. Quantitative and qualitative electrolysis. Quantitative and qualitative electrolysis. Which one can we profess? It's what? Quantitative. Can you give us What is quantitative? What is quantitative? Quantitative. It's an, anal it's, it's, it's an analysis that measures the quantities of matter, of substance present in matter. I'm not dictating, I'm just explaining it. You must not write everything. Do not ask. Additional knowledge I want to give you. We're going to give you a quantitative. Quantity. If you go to the quantity, it is, it is the aspect of an analysis. It is analytical chemistry that describes the amount the amount of substance present in a matter. Can you give an example? If I say that water, this water now is what? Formula is what? H2O. Okay, for Can you use those simple water as an example? Now, the analysis that will tell you that the, the exact amount of hydrogen and the exact amount of oxygen in water is quantitative analysis you can achieve it by what titration okay i think that now h not two only one 
the particular analysis that will give you the idea of the amount of substance in a matter. This is matter or chemical substance. It's what? Quantitative. But what is qualitative? The quality. The one that will give you the qualities. The what is present without specifying how many. The one that will tell you the constant of water is what? Hydrogen and oxygen is what? Qualitative. Are you with me? The Genty now. Genty. The Genty. The Genty. I said we have two types of analysis in chemistry. That is why chemi chem chemistry practical depends on what? Quantitative and what? Qualitative. Have you asked yourself why do you do that kind of thing in chemistry? Only two practicals. Quantity and quality. They are very broad. They are very versatile. And that is now quantitative. What is going to check what is quantitative analysis? No. An analytical, an analytical science that deals with the amount of substance or particles present in a chemical substance is what qualitative. Sorry, sorry. Is what quantitative. It is not able to the same number that I feel it is distinguished. Quantitative, qualitative. Like I enter buses yesterday, I don't know the difference between Mount and Minero. I want to stop at uh, Minero. Two things are two things that confuse me in this life. These two things that I had to send this in. I am okay and damage. Those of you that live in that axis, I also have problem. I used to fight with conductors. It's not my fault. I want to I want to stop at Minero. I will say it is Mount, Mount, and the price. The, this you look like price is different. You know they will tell you two hundred. And when I reach. Uh, um, uh, mount. They expect you to come down so they can pick another one. He said, no. What you say? It become an argument. He said, please, I'm sorry. It's just like these two things are confusing. I don't know. What is confusing someone is here? He used to confuse me a lot. Mount, Meniru. I, I want to stop at Meniru. I'll say Mount. I want to stop at Amoche. I'm okay. I'll say Amobia. So, now listen. Come back to what we're saying. Qualitative. Quantity. 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 Literally, my quantity can't you now. Literally, measures it. Keep the amount to nothing at the substance. You are getting quantitative analysis. I give example using water. As I say that the aspect of analysis that we describe that the component in water, the matter, the matter, the matter component of water is what? Two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen is what? Quantitative analysis. Then the word that will not say that he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to care about the amount. What he cares is the quality of the substance in that matter. The word that will tell you that what the, the component here is hydrogen and oxygen. What is present there without telling you the amount present is what? Qualitative. Yes. You see, when you get came in, that is what brings about what empirical and what molecular, and then by extension, structural. That is what that is another another simple way to describe quantitative and what qualitative. Do you get the point? Now, if you come to electrolysis, what is quantitative electrolysis? Quantitative, the one that if you pass current here. You pass current here, get it. You pass current here. So, a so, so, so time measured in what? Seconds. And then you're not asked to find the mass of substance charged at cathode or what? Anode. Can you do the mass of copper? As if not copper now. Calculate the mass of copper deposited. Are you with me? That's enough. For example, now, say, so, so, so amounts. Of current was passed in this cell. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Let's say five ampere current was passed inside this place from this DC. DC was the one that supplied the ampere current. He passed it in this cell and he was able to pass it for maximum of what? Of what? Of what? One hour. Right there. Then that is the amount, that is the time taken to what? To what? To use five current inside this cell. And in the process, the salts decompose, the salt of copper decompose. Then they now say, calculate the mass of copper 
deposited at the cathode. Which property, which particular electrolysis is that? Is it quantitative or qualitative? Quantitative. Because I see they want to find out the quantity of what? Copper. This is where you now start using Faraday's laws of electrolysis. They are not going to quantity. So they are not going to quality. Quality will not care about all these things. Quality will be in the electrolysis of copper 2. Now quality. In the electrolysis of copper 2, tetra, all the surfaces using inert electrode. Explain the products formed at the cathode and the anode respectively in the electrolysis of this sort what is anode what is what goes to anode what goes to what cathode they don't care the amount or the mass of copper discharged what i will do in this case i will say okay i will say okay in electrolysis i want to answer that question now in electrolysis now the first thing that will happen to this sort is that the current that was passed you know, on the aqueous. So, million once the current has entered, the salt will do what? Decompose. Give me copper 2 plus SO4 2 minus. That is it. But because that salt, I should also add the ions that is obtainable from a milli from water, which is what? H plus plus OH minus. Good. Then, looking at this, as a scientist, there are three factors that will be determined, that we use to determine which of these ions will migrate. Because you are not calculating the quantity. You are now looking at the word quality. The quality to which of these ions will go. Basically, you know that two out of these four migrate to one electrode. Be, being that these two have the same similar kind of ion. Be, these two migrate to where? Anode. Be, being that they have the same similar kind of what? Ions. But it is impossible for two ions to go to a particular electrode at the same word time. It means that one is preferentially and selectively discharged to the other one. Since there are two that will compete, one will be selected. And then for you to know which one will be selected in preference to the other one, you must know the factors that are what necessary for what this kind of what ions. That is where you now know one factor is what position. Is what position. You go to position. Okay, see between these two and this one, which one is lower? Now the position is that the lower the cation, the ease of what discharge between copper and hydrogen. Which one is lower in the series? Copper. So copper is what? Discharge at the word cathode. When copper comes to the cathode, what happens to the cathode? Is copper going to gain electron or lose electron? Is it what? Gain. Now when the copper that goes to the cathode gains two electrons, what happens to the cathode later? What happens to the what happens to the cathode? What happens to the copper? The copper is what? Reduced. Are you with me? They will not ask you anything about the mass of copper discharge. The only thing you will see, practically, qualitatively, that since copper goes here, the mass of this electrode will start to do what? To do what? Increase. You don't need to tell anybody the mass of copper that was discharged. That is not for you to say because this is what? Quali qualitative. They, that has not finished yet. You do the same thing to the anode. Between these two, which one will go to the anode? OH, Tabi. When OH goes, OH will decompose. You may be decompose. We scatter. We, we just we see, see, see. We go like this. That's the state of this. I don't need to start telling you oxygen number again. again. When oxygen is from here, it was minus two. When H is together, is, is what? Plus one. That's why some of these two is what? Minus one. Since the two has opposite charge, they will combine in fixed ratio. Ratio, I get it. Okay, maybe fixed ratio. Law of what? Law of constant composition. Constant. They constant now. You can have minus two. You can have plus one. You get it to ever. Or the balance. Yes. Okay, for the H2O. Okay, for the okay, for 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 okay
charge and go balance. Don't put charge again. But it does look like this is not balance. This is two, Abby. You put two here. H is balance. O is not balance, Abby. How many O do you need to put here to balance it? Oh, no, no, no. It's one now. How many O is here? One. Sorry. Two. One plus one. Two. How many H is here? Two. How many is here? Two. Balance. But the problem I have with this is that uncombined oxygen does not work is this. I have to do something. King, call the two. It's going to be a two. Now, I'm just saying, two as half of can balance here. Two can no longer be here. If I try three, three cannot be here. If I try four, yes. Since this is four, if this is two, H is balance. This is four. O is two. O is two. Balance. One thing is remaining to balance it, which is the charge. Two turn a charge here. Now becomes minus one times four, minus four. What will you add as electron here to balance this side? Plus four E minus. Are you with me? This is the equation of what happens at the word anode. But the product at the anode is what? Oxygen gas. Because bubbles, 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 bubbles. Which means effervescence or call. Check in the new gas. Check in the gas for now. New means copper two sulfate. Where is the copper now? This migrated, reduced to copper. This migrated, reduced to ox oxidized towards oxygen gas. Which one does not go? H and SO4. Both will now combine. What will they become inside the cell? They become what? H2SO4. Then, what happened to the electrolyte now? Before the electrolysis, the solution of this copper was what? Was what? Blue. Was what? Blue. Why is it blue? Because color of blue copper compound are what? Blue. Now that copper is no longer in the solution, will the solution of this, this electrolyte, will it still be blue? What happened? The color will do what? Fade. And then the solution becomes three things. Can drug it came out of the Is solution going to be acidic? Number one. Is it going to be alkaline? Number two. Is it going to be neutral? Which one is correct? Acidic. All these things are what? Qualitative electrolysis. Oh, I'm going to water. I'm going to water. I'm going to three times. Before I'll buy it. When you can do it, you ten times. Remember it. Okay. <laughs> maybe. Do not maybe. But does it follow? Oh, we more about to follow. This is kind of the gonna go quick. Yeah? Some of you, you, you think cut. It cut. No, it will always cut like that. It will always be like that. Because this, this is not, this is not civic education. It's not civic. Well, now they have written qualitative. Well, let's start with there are two two cues there. Be. Let's first start with qualitative before quantitative. Quantitative will be calculations. I like to do calculations in the topic last. I like to do the principle first. So let's start with qualitative. Write qualitative out of these two. Bring out qualitative. Let me define it. Then I'll give you an example. Right. Maybe you write later, you read it over. And over again, maybe it makes sense, right? Qualitative electrolysis. Qualitative electrolysis. Yes, I'm coming now. Leave me with the social disintegration. They are not the same thing. They cannot be the same thing. Disintegration means to decay something, to decay, to decay, to decay something, change, to change a particular radioactive substance to non radioactive. It becomes disintegration. It becomes decay. The composition is to see compound and deal with it. The situation is for element. The composition is for what? Compound. We stick on the subject matter. If you take me out of the subject matter, you, you, you destroy the class and it will, not, it will not be fair. Okay, right. This is qualitative. Can or sigi there? You know, some quantitative. I told you that quantitative will come last because that is calculations. Quanti qualitative electrolysis. This is an analytical. 
Uh, sorry, this is a branch of analytica. This is a branch of analytica. This is a branch of analytica electrolysis. Analytical electrolysis. Analytical electrolysis. Analytical electrolysis, which deals, which deals, which deals with the quality, with the quality, which deals with the quality, which deals with the quality, with the quality, or presence, quality or presence of particle presence of particle in a chemical substance or matter in a chemical substance or matter in a chemical substance or what matter full stop it forms a fundamental principles of electrolysis it forms a fundamental principle in electrolysis it forms a fundamental principle in electrolysis it forms a fundamental principle in electrolysis as it explains as it explains as it explains products as it explains products as it explains products and type of chemical reaction as it explains products as it explains products and type of chemical reaction that occur type of chemical reaction that occur during electrolytic reaction during electrolytic reaction during electrolytic reaction during what electrolytic lytic word reaction during what electrolytic lytic word reaction full stop paragraph in this reaction in this reaction in this reaction in this reaction comma the following are mechanisms the following are mechanisms the following are mechanisms they are number one ionization number one ionization number one ionization number two migration number two migration number two migration and number three decomposition sorry deposition <laughs> deposition number three is what deposition I will explain the three. Write again. Paragraph again. The following are factors. The following are factors. The following are factors. The following are factors that affect. The following are factors that affect. The following are factors that affect. Selective or preferential. Selective. Open the mass follow preference. You just stick only to select selective. The following are factors that affect selective or preferential. Open no question. You use those ones for what do you mean? Selective or preferential discharge of ion. Discharge of ion. Discharge of ion. During electrolysis. During electrolysis during electrolysis number one you know the factors Abby? number one let me list it let me run it down number one position of the ion in the electrochemical series use es in short form number one position of the ion position of the ion position of the ion in the electrochemical series ECS in short position of the ions in the electrochemical series number two
concentration of the ion in the electrolytes. Concentration of the ion in electrolytes. Concentration of ion in electrolytes. Concentration of ion in electrolytes. Concentration of ion in what? Electrolytes. And then the last but not the least. Nature of the electrode. Nature of electrode. Nature of words. Electrode. Nature of words. Electrode. Full stop. Case one. Cases. We don't do cases. Is it time? Not time. I have two minutes plus 15 minutes I'll give for myself for extra time. When you are playing match and the time for the match, it appears that the time before the referee ends the match, there are side attractions like you about to throw in a tier. Beyond that, I'm not going to class without permission. I'm not going to take it. I'll kneel down. Then, you see that a time is added sometimes. Five minutes after the match. Ten minutes. <laughs> right. Case one. Electrolysis of copper two tetraoxo surfaces using use the formula. Electrolysis of CUSO4. You have finished it too. Electrolysis of copper two tetraoxo. If you don't understand it later, please write the full. Electrolysis of copper two tetraoxo surfaces. Write it like that if you don't remember what it means later when you're reading. Copper two tetraoxo surfaces using inert electrode. Using inert electrode. I will still explain that inert, but not today. Using inert electrode. <laughs> okay. Now listen. Let me explain what is ionization. That is the first mechanism of quali quantitative, qualitative, qualitative, quantitative. I don't, I don't know why that problem. Qualitative, quantitative. Which way? Which what? Why would these two start with the cure, cure? That's my problem. Okay, now listen. The first mechanism is what? What is this? Ionization. I'll just use a simple chemical reaction to explain it ionization. The salts given in that case one is what? CuSO4B which is in aqueous state. What happened to it? Cu2 plus plus what? SO4 2 minus. That is ionization. That is what? Ionization. It is not ionization energy. It is a different thing. What is ionization now? The what? Dissociation of what ionic compound into free mobile ions dissociation of what free mobile ion sorry dissociation of what please the quick attack here is here dissociation of ionic compound in water the water the water in water in water dissociation of ionic compound in water into free mobile into free mobile hydrated ions. Into free mobile kidney hydrated what? Ions. You have to write H2O, and which is what? H plus plus OH minus. And this means how many ions are present? How many ions are there? Ions present is what? Ions. Ions present. Is what Cu two plus comma H plus comma SO four two minus comma OH minus full stop. Now when you have this thing, the first, the next thing is what migration. They start to migrate. They start to do what migration. So I will explain migration like this. Migration. In migration, there are two things that happen here. One at what? Let's see what happened at what? At what? Cathode. At cathode, what happened here? Cu two plus and what? H plus does what? Migrates. Where did it migrate? Migrates 
at work. And look here again, at what? Cattled. Now, in this same migration, there are three factors that will, that will phantom which one of these things goes. There are three factors that factors. So which of the factors are we going to consider here? Position of the word ions. Under that three factors for this charge. This is what? Position. So which one goes now? Between the two. Hello. Which one goes now? Copper. To know which one goes, you must have somewhere to check which one we go. Before I go to the next categories of this, 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 the next step to this migration now, to know which one goes. And I look at the factors, the factors that will, I will factor here. Factor will be what? Position of what? Ion in what? E, C, what? S. What are those ECS again? Let me show you the ECS. First is what? First is what? Potassium. Next is what? Sodium. Next is what? Next is what? Is calcium there? If calcium is there, that means calcium will come after potassium. Don't argue with me. I'm an authority. It's like this. It's like that. If you put calcium here, put magnesium here, it's wrong. This is not, this is not reactivity. It is what? Electrochemical. Are you with me now? In reactivity, you are correct. But in electrical conductivity, you are what? Wrong. Calcium is more electrical conductive than what? Sodium. <laughs> so even if you say, Kitan, and they call you, remember, I can see chalk and see there. You go to all these your small, 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 small textbooks. You want to use it to tell me? Who told you it's calcium that will be here? We're not talking about reactivity here. We're talking about electrochemical. Calcium is more electrically conductive. You have a conductive electrically. Kiki boos or migrate. Any man up. Boos. Bogini. Bogini. It do. The man in the cousin do not be around. The best thing to do is not even to. Don't even put calcium in the mix. In the mix. Do as if you omit calcium. So it will not give you the idea. You can verify. If you don't verify, if you can't verify, you go to court. I'll come and meet you there to defend myself. So, what more question you go get now? The man meant magnesium. When the calcium, yes. What if the salt contains calcium? Yes, if the salt contains calcium, no problem. Once it has to do with conductivity, you put calcium. But you put calcium here and magnesium. You can put calcium this way CA and what? NA. And they continue with what? Magnesium. Let me carry like that. What next is what? Aluminium. Next is what? Carbon is supposed to be there. But since if I put carbon now, it will raise eyebrow. Since you don't want to learn new things, let me continue the one you know. Uh, uh, you say, please help me with your analysis. Here is what? Zinc, iron, tin, lead, hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver, and gold. If you are going from K to AU, what happened? It happened. It is increasing. Increasing order of discharge. Discharge. Increasing order of discharge. Increasing ability to discharge is what is happening. Or decreasing order of reactivity. Can you use the word? Come on, it's It's a use the No, no, yeah. It's a use Decreasing. Decreasing order of what? Of what? Conductivity. Let me use what? Conductivity. Conductivity. This is the best thing to do. Which one reactive? I don't understand that reactivity. Please, conductivity is one more. Is look at the conductive nature of these ions. Then this one is also what? Increasing. Increasing order. Or, okay, or increasing order of what? Discharge. Well, which one do you think if if all of these are present are competing? Which one will be discharged if all of them are competing? Which one will be discharged if all these things are competing? Good. Because it is what? Lower. Do you get it? 
is what? Lower. I'm going to put in Kenya and check in Ambo. Copper and what? Hydrogen. So, let copper, K copper, ne copper, eba. Ne gini, hydrogen. Which one? Ne, can you use those either? Increasing order. So, they mean increase order. That means copper has more chance to be discharged if it's competing with what? Hydrogen. So, in this case, copper is what? Discharged. So, I'll write it now under that, that migration. And I say, hence, 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 Cu2 plus is what? Discharged. Discharged in what? In preference. In preference to who? To who? To who? Hydrogen. Chicken, you are done. You are done. Three things. Ionization, this is it. This what? Migration. Kumu, the factor. One factor there. Then the last mechanism is what? Is what? Deposition. At what? At what? At what? Electrode. More about at what? At what now? Cathode. How does it deposit? How? Who goes deposit it? Copper, Cu2 plus. It goes to the cathode, does it gain or lose? It what? It gains. How many is it going to gain? How many? 2E. What about copper 2? What? Copper 2. It becomes what? Copper. Linear from here is what? Plus two. After gaining, it is now about zero. What happened from here to here? Is it reduction or oxidation? Reduction. So with this, what can I say that reduction occurs at the cathode? I just finished cathodic half cell equation. Hello. I have to be a cathode. I have to be a cathode. Photo starts. Okay. I think I will stop here. <laughs> Some people are relieved that I'm stopping. Now I cannot do the anode. If I do the anode, what you got what I need? Can But I think this one is clear now. This should be clear, my friend. If this one is not clear to you. Please, you have to ask yourself some questions. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Enjoy.